back on the dating horse tonight, Theodore. You look great, Dad. Thanks, son. You, uh, sure you want to wear that, though? Yeah, probably not. Force of habit. Why don't you ever go back? Maybe. One day. Well, hey, help me finish getting ready. Where's my tie? Your name's Eleanor. I should have known. It's nice to meet you. Frank! Dad, doesn't the guy usually pick up the girl? Welcome to the 21st century, son. Go finish your homework. All right, Betsy. Make sure Theo finishes his homework. <laughs> no junk food in bed by 8.30, okay? Yes, Mr. Roosevelt. Will you be late? Uh, not too late. 10? Well, it's been a while. Maybe like 10, 15-ish. Hey, buddy, come here. Give me a hug. Hey, hey, Make sure you listen to Betsy, okay? Stay out of trouble. Right. Got you, Dad. Oh, wait. Yeah? Could you leave the door open a crack? Sure. Thanks. Betsy, mm -hmm. could you leave the light on in my dad's room, too? Aren't you a little old for a nightlight? I don't know. I've been hearing noises lately. Noises? Like what? I don't know, like breathing in the walls. Oh, that's just the deformed guy in a hockey mask with a chainsaw under your bed. What? <laughs> Relax, I'm just kidding. Some messed up crap, Betsy. I know. I couldn't resist. You need new panties? Give the kid a break. And yeah, I do. <laughs> Look, it's probably just the wind. Older house. Doesn't sound like the wind. OK. You got it. Thanks. Good night, hose bag. Night, puke.
Wow. Little kid spooky much, Betsy? Period gas. Thanks, Frank. Your tongue is legendary. Betsy, I'm home. Dad. Theo. What are you still doing up? I heard a noise. Dad? Stay right there. Dad, what happened? Where's Betsy? I... Dad, what happened? And... Why does your face smell like an old tire? I...
What the hell, kid? Can't you see I'm going through hell here? Dad, relax. Take a chill pill. I'm sorry, son. I'm just really going through hell right now. You didn't eat your beans. Beans for breakfast, lunch, and dinner isn't going to cut it. I'm sorry. I'll go eat with mom or something. I'm sorry. Money's just really tight right now. It's okay. Hey. Why don't you watch your pubuscus and Toby pie that you like so much? You're a dork, Dad. Hey there, little man. Hey. Hey, buddy. Come give me a hug. Go wait in the car for me, Theo. You gonna cut his balls off, Mom? Honey, watch your mouth. Of course not. Yeah, she is. Frank, we need to talk. About what this time? Uh, the same old thing. Our son cannot be living in a tent in the backyard. And why not? Really? Winter's coming. What are you going to do then? I don't know. I'll build an igloo. An igloo? Really, Frank? Yeah, why not? Igloos are warm. I mean, if they're good enough for the Chinese, they're good enough for me. Either get him back in a real house, or I'm going to sue you for full custody. Why don't you sell the house and get a new place? I can't sell it. That's because you won't let anyone inside. No. You don't understand. No one understands. It's not safe in there. I want to demolish that house. I want to burn it to ashes. And then I want to burn those ashes. And then I want to put those ashes in a canister and shoot them towards the sun. Then I want to take a nuclear bomb and shoot it at the sun. I get the point, Frank. Oh. You didn't see what I saw, Ladybird. What, that there's some sort of monster in there? The police searched the place. It's empty. There's no monster. There never was. Freak plumbing accident, that's all. There is a monster. I saw it, and it's still in there. I can feel it. It's looking at me and dressing me with its eyes, violating my every orifice with its sick, twisted, perverted mind. It's got a penis, but tits too, like some sort of she-male. And it tricks you, makes you think it's a woman until you're at home alone with it, all naked and horned up, and you think, hey, why let my first real boner in months go to waste? Frank. Believe me, it's still in there, just waiting. Waiting for the chance to kill again. You need help, Frank. Serious psychiatric help. Why don't you go back to the force? Get your old job back, make some money, rent a decent place at least. I can't go back. Not now. It's too hard. What happened to you out there? They pushed me. They pushed me too far, Lady Bird. Well, that shouldn't affect our son's life. Straighten up, Frank, or you're going to lose him. He won't let us in the house to show anyone. He knows the bank is ready to foreclose on it? Yes, of course. He doesn't care. You have a key, correct? Yes. Then schedule a showing. Without his permission, sir? If the bank takes the house, we get nothing. We need it sold. I don't know. Are you a killer, George? Sir? It's a simple question. Are 
you a killer. Uh, I just want to do a good job, Mr. Reagan, sir. <clears throat> do you know the history of this company, George? Uh, bits and pieces, sir. Well, let me enlighten you, son. My great-grandfather came here from Italy, God rest his soul. And he came here with one goal, to dominate the real estate industry in the United States. We've done just that, well beyond his wildest dreams. We are the most powerful agency in the world. And we didn't get there having banks foreclose on our properties. We have a 97 and three quarter percent closing ratio. Yes, of course. Everyone knows that Reagan Realty is the cream of the crop. And do you know what happened to the agents of the remaining two and a quarter percent, George? Uh, uh, no, sir. Well, let's just say neither do their families. <gasps> <laughs> Sell the house, George, or you'll find out exactly what happened to the other two and a quarter percent. Yes, sir. Good, George. Get your sweet ass out of here. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Nancy. Cancel the light repairman today. Yes, sir. What's going on here? Who said you could show the house? Excuse me a moment. Uh, please look around. Uh, just a local drunk. Look. We need to let people see the inside of the house if we're going to sell it. I don't want to sell it. I want to burn it! No. <clears throat> Why don't you guys check upstairs? Uh, there's five bedrooms. It's great for a couple looking to start a family. No. 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 Don't. Don't go up there. Don't be ridiculous here. There's nothing wrong with this house. No, there is. And I think I know what it is. What's this? This is something I found at the library. A similar case except for worse. A parade of houses. Couples ripped to pieces. The real estate agent said it was something called a house shark. <laughs> a house shark? Is this a joke, Frank? No, listen to me. It's real. These things exist. Uh, 
Let her go. She'll be fine. I even found info on a scientist. He claims to be the world's only house shark expert. I've never heard of a house shark. It sounds ridiculous. Look, George, you didn't see what I saw. I mean, that poor girl. Something attacked her in the plumbing right in front of me, and then I saw something, something, something like a fin. I guess that's a bit of a fixer-upper, but I totally love it. Me too. So, we're going to make an offer? You bet, Dolly. Yeah, I read the police report. They looked. They didn't find anything. It was some kind of freak suction built up in the pipes from the way station. But what did the coroner say? Huh? What did he say, George? What did he write at first? He said it looked like a shark attack. Um, no. He never said that. Well, I, well, I mean, I'm sure he thought it. First place I want to make mad monkey love to you is right here in this living room. Oh, yeah, John? Give me that stink, baby. And where's Checkers? Uh, checkers! Look, Frank. If you don't sell this house, the bank will take it. I'll blow it up first. No, you won't. We're going to sell this house. Like balls you are! Stop! I don't want anyone catching us with your fingers up my butt. Wait! What was that? was attacked. Attacked by some sort of monster hiding in the house. Oh my. You were right, Frank. You were right all along. Yeah. Listen, can you watch Theo for the next few days just until I can sort this all out? Yes, of course. Take care of this, Frank. I, I will, Ladybird. George, George, book, book. I'm gonna call this guy, this, uh, this, the Zachary guy. Get him out here and see what he knows. I Frank, mean, do you know I had three families scheduled today? It doesn't matter now, George. One of them had kids. Kids, Frank. And these weren't just some ugly kids. I saw pictures. They were adorable. Like, Emmanuel Lewis on Webster adorable. Look. We're going to make things all right, George, okay? Just no more showings, agreed? Yes. Yes, of course. Okay. Look, I'm gonna get this scientist out here. Yes, you do what you have to. I'm gonna go meet with my boss. Okay, good. Hey, I'll be in touch.
get me Zachary Taylor. House shark. I I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen it for myself. Fortunately for you, George, I have a plan for this. Sir? I'm putting my top home inspector on it, Darth Squanto. He can handle it. Frank. George. Look, I found the scientist from the Homeographic Institute. He's on his way. We've come up with another plan. What? I, I thought we agreed we would wait for the expert to arrive. My boss brought in his own expert. Meet Darth Squanta. There's no one with you. Greetings. Native American? What can you do? Don't underestimate my powers. Oh, oh. Oh. Squanto, enough. Release him. As you wish. Sorry. These people are sensitive people. I just don't understand the connection. Native Americans? Sharks? My people were great hunters of sharks. How so? Once the shark walked the land, much like the buffalo. We hunted their herds, wore their skins, ate their flesh, and gave humble praise to their spirit. But like the dolphin before him, the shark one day discovered the vast oceans. There they found they were the top of nature's food chain. Even man was prey to this mighty creature within its depths. And so, they stayed. Most of them. Do you think you can take it? I am most certain of it. Let's kill us some mother trucking house shark. Are you Frank? Yeah. Who the hell are you? John and Dolly are my parents. I thought they didn't have any kids. They don't. They were going to adopt me. Let's see how this plays out. I heard there was a shark attack in this house. You do nothing, Frank. Nothing. And now it's back to the high kill adoption shelter for me, you dick. I'm sorry.
I'm sorry, Frank. She's wrong. Of course she's wrong, you idiot! I did everything that I could! Well, I wouldn't say you did everything. <laughs> yeah, I did! Enough! It is time we faced this fish. Mammal. Aquatic devil. Yeah, you think? Jeez. Work ass hat. Good luck. Do not fear, for soon your home shall be rid of this demon. Thank you. Who's here? It's been a long time. Who is that? Come out where I can see you. I'm over here. Where? Where are you? Come out! Stop tormenting a helpless old man! Abraham. That's me, bitch. You haven't darkened these walls since... Yeah, I know. Why am I not surprised to see you? The smell of freshly soiled depends tells me otherwise. Still the wise ass, I see. You knew I'd come. I'll catch this nugget for you. But it ain't gonna be easy. It's a bad fish fry. Mammal, sharky thing. It's not like selling a house down in the valley to a couple of hippies or yuffies. No. It's a beast to swallow you whole. A little shaking, a little tenderizing, a little battering. Maybe he wraps you up in some rice and seaweed and eats you raw. I don't know. Then down you go. We gotta act quick if we wanna bring your shells back. You need me. I'm the only salty dog that can handle this. Yeah, maybe. How are your stitches holding? No need tightening. I see. You've gotten fat. It's water weight. Now what do you say, my hand? I'm not sure you're up to the task. It's muscle, trust me. No one take no for an answer. I don't know. And man boobs aren't muscles. I want in! No! Yes! Shit off me, you fat! But I run boobs, the box! <laughs> Your pecs don't jiggle this much! Yes, I do! No, no. Let me in! Let no, me in! No! I'm the last person! All got. right! Okay! Okay! I suppose that's so. You've chosen wisely. Nancy. Yes, sir? Get George on the horn. <laughs> what the? Lights are fixed, sir. Oh. Dang it. Hello? Showing the house today. I'm not here to buy the house. I'm looking for Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Uh, 
Stellano, but uh, that's me. Who are you? I am Zachary Vela. Oh, oh! Taylor, the house shark expert from the Institute, of course. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for coming out. Uh, can I get you anything to drink? Uh, coffee. Out of coffee. Uh, can I get you anything else? Maybe some hot water. Let me get the fire started. Ah, uh, it's okay. I'm how you say good. I had the breakfast before I came over. Breakfast? Do you have any leftovers? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Help yourself. It's been days since the last time I've had a good meal. So you're the world's only house shark expert. That's what my resume says. You want me to try some chicken and dog? I have a few ideas. Can be how you say, look around. <laughs> no. That thing swallowed Dark Squanto whole in one bite. And he had weird mystical Indian powers. But who? Oh, never mind. I don't want to go inside. I just want to look in the windows. So, uh, how long have you been studying the house shark? About 30 years now. Really? You look like you're 30 now. Uh, yeah. My English is bad. I meant to say 11. Oh. So there really is little information out on the house shark, huh? Yes, the house shark is quite rare. Up until a few years ago, they were only, how you say, legend. So what got you into the house shark? Well, I love the sharks, but I'm afraid of the ocean. Yeah. Saw Jaws, huh? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Anyway, I figured I could study the sharks but stay on dry land. How about we suck around? So is it true that more people are killed a year by vending machines than house sharks? Is that true? I don't know. I was asking you. You're the expert. How many people die each year to these vending machines? Thirteen. Uh, hmm. Like how? Electrocution! They fall on them. They fall on them? Yeah, like, people put their money in. They don't get their snacks, so they decide to shake it up. Bam! Pancake. Yeah, yeah. That seems true. There's so much. <gasps> Fuss is that? What is what? Should you be doing that? We are fine as long as we are outside, I think. Is it? It's a fiber. Looks like a tooth. Oh yeah, it is a tooth. <laughs> oh, that's John. Him and his wife were killed by the shark when they were looking at the house. Was it that a few days ago? Yeah. And they just left him in there? Nobody had the balls to go in and retrieve the bodies. Fevers. What's that attached to his finger? Wait. Where's the tooth? I accidentally dropped it inside. What? Shoot! So what are we gonna do now? Hmm. That was a big mama jama tooth. I need to sink. Is there some place around here where we can, how you say, grab a drink? Well, Belvat, are you gonna say anything? 
You haven't said a word since we left the house. Yeah, well, it's just a vote to take in. Yeah, believe me, I know. So, Frank, what did you used to do? Used to do? Yeah. I mean, to be honest, you look like a van out of work. I guess you'd be right then. Used to be a cop. Oh, something bad happened? Yeah. I guess you could say that. Oh, please, tell me about this. Mm. No, I don't like to talk about it. Please, share. Well, one night, I was out on patrol with my partner. One... What the hell, Bluebeard? I was in the middle of telling a story. The name's Abraham. And? Forgive me. It's a condition I have. I have to touch people's faces. Um, weird. Do we know you? George didn't tell you I was coming. George? I haven't talked to George in days. Oh. Wait, I got a, got a voicemail. Hey Frank, it's George. Sending a new guy over. Abraham, he's gonna help you out. Between you and me, this guy looks like a real degenerate. But eh, the boss wants him. But seriously, he's a real loser. He smells like he hasn't showered in weeks, maybe months. And I saw him changing at the gym earlier. He's got the smallest... So what does that make you? Some sort of house shock expert too? No, but let's just say I have a personal interest in this. Care to explain? No, not yet. I'm Frank. Frank? Pleased to meet you. Zachary. Miley? It's an honor. So you're supposed to be a fisherman or something? Real estate agent. Prior. But why are you dressed like you abolished slavery? I don't see how this can help us. Look, this house shock of yours I've been looking for for many moons. That seems improbable. He's one tough fish. Mammal. A fish mammal. Look, you're gonna need me. My fee is 10000 <laughs> <laughs> I've got no money. I'll do it for a hundred. Look, I'm broke. I've got nothing. Okay, I'll just do it. It's a deal. I'll take 10,000. What? 10K. And then you can join us. I'm not paying you. You need me. All right. No deal. Okay, well, fellas, we can take a check. And meals, too, for Zachary and I. Okay, right, gee. That's it, right? Wait, there's one more thing. How about you buy us, uh, how you say, a round of drinks? Sure, one funny Mexican. Okay, we have a deal then. Bow wench, a round of drinks for me and my new friends. And then we're gonna bag us a house shack. I give you a bar wench. <laughs> She is, gentlemen. Maybe we should wait till the morning. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Right? It would give us the tactical advantage over the house minnow. <laughs> I mean, this house I think she can mess with well, you and I. I mean, maybe he's just afraid of all the dark and lightning. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. How sharks need their mothers. <laughs> when he gets a load of us. Why don't we call him House Jaws? Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Ixnay on the Oz J there, Frankie. Time to rise and shine, ladies. We're gonna have to go in there. What? In the house? Well, we're not gonna find the house shack in a mall. We'll find a mall shack in a mall, but we're looking for a house shack. Now, the way I see it is, we can't just galley ho in there either. We start getting the blood of the beast. We may just run and elude the house. Well, that's a good thing, right? No, Mr. Roosevelt, that's a bad thing. Because if he leaves the house, he'll just take up residence elsewhere. It took me 127 years to find him. I'm not going to lose him again. This will be his final days. I just wish I could blow this house up. If I haven't, you. What? If I haven't, you blown up the house gold like. It's too risky. I don't want to take the chance of someone close by getting hurt. But you're trying to sell it. No. Well, I mean, not really. Look, shortly after the first attack, I signed up with this real estate agency. But then I had a change of heart. But these guys, they're, they're so damn persistent. I've never seen anything like it. They're tenacious, ruthless, almost. It's like dealing with the mafia. Believe me, I know. Well, there's no guarantees of blowing up the house would work anyway. And burning it down might just give him more time to escape. Yes, I agree with this, Abraham. We must go inside and stop the beast once and for all. All right. So what's the plan? Darn God, I'd like to see him get out of that. We're gonna have a hard time getting out too once we get in there. Well, like I said many moons ago, it's all or nothing. You know, the house shark seems to be able to, to travel through the walls and such. Do you really think boarding up the windows and doors will keep him from getting out? Oh, is speaking the mesh? Yeah. Oh, well, you see, the house shark can only enter the house through the windows and the doors. <laughs> You're so smart. When you two queers are done swapping spit, what do you say we go in there and get us a demon that I've dubbed the, uh, the house shack, copyrighted by Abraham Crabtree like? You know, maybe we should have waited till we were inside before we boarded up the door. Hard on a stick! God damn it, Labor. Screw these bars in. Who screwed this one in here? What are you doing, Frank? I'm gonna put it into this, Ladybird. That's suicidal! No, look, I'm in good hands with these two guys. Where'd you guys go? They're the only ones that can help me put it into this once and for all. You'll die in there, Frank. Well, thanks for the vote of confidence. Uh, Ladybird, this is Zachary. Zachary, this is Ladybird. Oh, hello. Frank told me about you. He said you're in sharks? <laughs> 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 I'm not in sharks. 
<laughs> Dumbass. What are you doing? Get back to work. Isn't yeah, there another way? Look, I've been living in fear of this house shark for long enough. Sharks. I'm not afraid anymore. I need to face him. Really? You're not afraid? No. House shark! House shark! House shark! House shark! House shark! Go! And what am I supposed to tell Theo? I don't know. Tell him that his dad had a psychotic breakdown and had to go away for a while. Look, I need to do this. I want my life back. I want my son back. Good luck then. We will be waiting for you when you finish this. The? I, I, I mean, we? Yes. We. Doodle pants. When they're done kissing SpongeBob ugly face, why don't you get over here? Time's a wasting. CX-5, huh? No, duh. How <laughs> shock! How Enough galley diamond from you two teeny tiny string bean little bitty penis men. It's time to shoot up. Let's move! either? I don't want you two faggoteers running at the first sign of danger. It's all or nothing. Where to? I see we check out the room of the first to die. This way then. vast vicinity, but mainly this area over here. It happened in the toilet. Wait, what are you doing? It's called the lost out of patience. A virtue that's faded among queer folks such as yourself. To answer your question, we wait. Well, what do we do if the house shark shows up? Um, that's a good question. Um, For any large predator, I've just heard you ram your fist down its throat. I'm, I'm pretty sure that only works on bears. A bear shark? No, just bears. A bear? Mr. Roosevelt, we're not talking about baron. We're talking about sharking. House sharking. I swear to God, this would just be so much easier if I could just blow my head off right now. No, Frank. Please. If you two chumps just worry about keeping watch.
You just gave me the golden shower! None of my watch! Pension offering! Stay behind me! that's wandered away from its herd. Don't be telling me my business, Mr. Taylor. We're not out here hunting hairbrush barracudas and tundra workers. I think I know a house shack if I've seen one. We need to move out. We're gonna need more room if we wanna fight this evil bastard. Who in the sham hell to a penis on me? Uh, uh, maybe it was the house shark. Damn that evil demon's boy! All their long dads doing evil now! Stay close! Guys, we're gonna get bigger guns, right? Guys? Hey! Hey! Wait for me! Abraham! I was thinking! Instead of waiting for the house shark to come and get us, maybe we have some things that can, how you say, draw the mountains open? Like what? Mm -hmm. Glad you asked. <laughs> nine. Nine. No. Jimmy Q crashed. When I was a wee lad, every little scrap wanted to be the Waller real estate broker. I found it. <laughs> what do you have there? It's a female house shark costume. A what? A female house shark costume? It looks like a regular shark costume to me. What? You don't see the apron? So one of us gets in the suits, goes out into the house, presents his anus, our anus, shark's in the house, hope the shark thinks it's a vagina, our shark? Yeah, pretty much. Sounds good to me. Well, I am not wearing a woman's costume. I'm paying you 10 G's. What would I say? Uh, Abraham? Was that name badge from the Syracuse Parade of Houses? Oh, yes, it is. Were you in the Syracuse Parade of Houses in 04? Aye, I was. Wait, what's the Syracuse Parade of Houses? Oh, wait, I think I've read about that. That's when they... Syracuse Parade of Houses. 2004. Biggest home sales event in the Northeast. Hundreds of families torn homes all across central New York. I was the head realtor for that event. Normal day. Sun shining bright. We were poised to make hundreds of thousands. I knew something was off that day. Storm clouds on the horizon seemed to hover there, like a storm was brewing. I didn't get the fast hint. Anything was up till near lunchtime. A couple missed their second showing. Another family disappeared on the second floor. I thought they'd slipped out before I could get in the old-fashioned hard press, you know. But then uh, I saw my buddy, my co-worker, Tommy Jefferson. He was a young guy, 
Thaddeus. But look like 12, like Mr. Tally. Eh? I thought I was sitting resting in a chair. Put my hand on his shoulder. And he fell over. He was bitten in half. After that, chaos broke out. People were running and screaming. Her blood got balls, vaginas, human insides, half digested clam chowder, if you know what I mean. It was everywhere. And that's where I saw him for the first time the house shack. He had the blackest of eyes, cold and dark. Porn star's anus before it's bleached. He lunged at me. He bit off both my arms, my legs, and my head. All in three quick moves. Your head? I woke up three days later in the hospital. The good doctors had managed to stitch me all back together. I'm not sure how many people died that day. Three? Four? Maybe none. I don't know. Never saw the house shack again. That is, well, not till today. Came close a few times. Could always sense him near. But managed to elude me. I'll never sell another house again, Mr. Roosevelt. But I will kill that house shack. It's the last thing I do. Life can be terrible and hard, but we push on. Because that's what we do. We're Americans. We stand together as a family. We fight. God bless you and your family. God bless America. Yeah. America. Hey, Frank. You never finished telling me why you left the falls. Oh, yeah, that. Well, to make a long story short, one day my partner and I... We're now done with the sausage fest. Oh, Jack! What? Oh, damn it! That must be a ten-footer! A couple meters, sir. Just go out there before he attacks us! Get out of the way! Where'd he go? He's got a gun! I use French's rock hard tizzle cap as a sheriff! What, what are you talking about? I'm not dead! Uh, Go and be. I don't fire, I popped him alive! <laughs> said you wanted him alive. Me? I said that? No! <laughs> My English is bad. Oh, Mr. Taylor. You've got some explaining to do. Oh. Uh, uh, give it back. <laughs> Dark talking. I guess I can drop the fake accent. It's fake? <laughs> what? Like, you knew? Actually, I did. Uh, no, you didn't. Totally did. Well, you moron, shut up! Oh. It was just an experiment. I was still a teen, practically. What kind of experiment? I'm a private scientist. I had some leftover plutonium that I had from a contract with the USA military. Only this was no ordinary plutonium. It was highly weaponized. We were testing it on animals. 
It was designed to rapidly increase their intelligence, to give them knowledge on weapons and hand-to-hand -hand combat, and superpowers such as camouflage and transmutation. But it didn't work. It should have. I ran the computations over and over again, but it didn't. So I thought I would use it. Use it on myself to, well, you're gonna think this sounds crazy. Crazier than this? I doubt it. I wanted to give myself Spider-Man superpowers. So you're right. That is crazier. I just thought it would be so cool for once in my life to finally score with some babes. Yeah. I mean, Spider-Man powers are cool and all, but I prefer Mysterio myself. Mysterio? Really? Ah, uh, yeah. He's Spider-Man's greatest enemy. That and I just kind of think he's cool. That is so dumb. I was mixing it in my lab when suddenly something went wrong. There was an explosion. When I woke up, my shark had been exposed to what should have been a deadly dose of radiation. But he didn't die. No. Woodrow had transformed into that beast that we saw today. I could tell immediately that its intelligence had increased. But it didn't kill me. It was confused and jumped into the sink. Then it disappeared and I didn't see it again. Until today. Okay, so you created it. That means you must know how to kill it. Maybe. But he's evolved. He's faster, much bigger, and smarter. I thought I could capture him and just do some testing at my lab. But after what I saw today, I know our only option is to kill him. Okay, shark expert. How do you suppose we do that? The gun. That would stop him, right? Gun. The variable animus, uh, the, the ray gun. You have a ray gun. The gun won't stop it. It will hurt it, maybe subdue it for a while. But how sharks have the power of regeneration? They can't kill it. So you're saying we can't stop them? Then why would you send us in on a suicide mission? No, there might be a way, at least I think. Like I said, it was exposed to enough radiation that it should have killed it. Maybe if we expose it to a bit more plutonium, it can cause a chain reaction, one that will cause an explosion, one that it can't come back from. But you weren't certain? I saw it in a Godzilla movie once. The theory is sound. How do you plan to induce this reaction? Well, I have some plutonium in my bag. It's, it's gone. You! You in my pack and you took it! I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't take anything. Enough of this scientific mumbo jumbo. The owl shark's still an animal, right? We've seen it bleed. If it bleeds, we can kill it. If we can kill it, it'll be dead. If it's dead, it won't be alive. And we will won the war against the house shark. We'll celebrate, we'll whiskey on our lips, and ladies in our laps. Oh, gentlemen, how do you... What are you suggesting? <clears throat> suggesting we do it the old-fashioned way, with how we say, good old American firepower, and some know-how. Sounds good to me. It's the first step. Where's the lady huh, costume? You really think this will work? Absolutely. You brought the uh, prophylactic, right? He was a saucy sailor boy who came from afar to ask a maid to be the bride of poor Jack Tar. The maid and a poor fisher girl, she stood close by his side. She answered with a scornful look, thus I'll not be a bride. You're mad to think I'd marry you, too ragged that you are. 
Be gone, you saucy sailor boy. Be gone, you jack tar. With money in my pocket, love, and bright golden star. These clothes are mine in rags, but can't buy me more. Though black my hands, my gold is clean, so I'll sail afar. A fairer maid than you, I ween, you little jack tar. Stay, stay, you saucy sailor boy. Do not sail aboard. I love you and will marry you, you silly jack tar. Jack. Look at me, I'm kissing your girlfriend. Oh, she's so pretty, I think I love her. Zachary. Forget that commie Nazi bastard. He's on his own. It's of no use anymore. Last arrows. Final magazine. Look, maybe we should just leave. You know, re-equip ourselves now that we better know what we're dealing with here. We can't! Look, you need to put this personal grudge that you have going on with the house shark aside and realize that we can't do this alone. We need help. Francis, my boy, have no room! We're best friends to the end! It's just a little matter of me passing this key. Gross. You know, maybe we should just let the house shark eat us. You think Zachary's dead? <laughs> dead and shut out. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. He's alive. Why haven't we used that gadget to call for him? What was that? Looks like someone's back for the hour. No one's on that lip of it. We'll see. Ah! 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 It's been an honor, Mr. Lincoln. Eat no fish or mammal or anything gonna deny me a house sale! You been in here the whole time? Sorry, I was hiding in a closet and I got locked in and I couldn't get out. But that blast must have dislodged the lock. Just in time. What's the plan? I'm gonna do what they do in all the mutant shark movies and the first men in black. I'm going in. For dessert. Preferably a banana split. You're the banana, I'm the nut.
Take this. It's my son's. What happened? I think the house shark blew the hot water here. Something killed him. That wasn't the house. You think it was Zachary? Who the hell was Zachary? He probably plugged the drain. We're gonna have to swim uh, down that and uh, plug it before I fill up the rest of the house. You're right. Let's go together. Okay. I got your back. But keep your eye peeled. Not only for the house shot, but for Zachary too. He may have set a crap. Okay. Let's go. Follow me. Oh, break! 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 Oh, yeah. What? Sorry, one more thing. Calms me down.
problem? What? I'm sober. Frank, is that you? Stop. Get off me! Where's the shark? Huh? What about getting out of here? Wait, but, but what about Zachary? Forget about him. We don't want to be cornered. We should get food. Uh, uh, I haven't been sober in 27 years. Come, Francis, follow me. I know the way. What's the Ambo situation? Bullets will need to dry out. I'm down to my last rounds. But arrows, too. Damn it! Damn it all the hell! Make yourself scarce. <laughs> Hush, little house shark, now don't you wait. Oh, mama's gonna make you some human steaks. And if those steaks don't fill you up, uh, if mama's gonna make you some more human steaks. We can't keep hiding. Can you pass that key? <laughs> no, not yet. I'm a bit constipated. It doesn't help that I'll open you your saltines and cheese wheels. It was your job to bring the food. It was my job to bring the food. It was your job. Who's to say you're right and I'm wrong? You agreed at the bar. Frank. I agree. Great, whatever, until I can expel this key-shaped hamster. We're gonna need a plan. When watching that nuclear devil sleep, give me an idea. What's the shag's greatest natural enemy? Man. No, I mean, like in the sea. I don't know, uh, an orca. No, not an orca. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's an orca. Or another shark. No, you fool. I mean in the sea. I give up. The mantis. Mantis? Like a manta ray. No, the praying mantis. No. No, it isn't. I've got to train. Like the mantis. Fight like the mantis. Be. Be the mantis. Then when it comes back, we'll be ready. Okay. Speed. 
a train too. Besides, I'm in way better shape than you are. <laughs> Is it? Uh, Frank, my boy, we're wanting anybody a way to freedom. Uh, good. Maybe we can actually get out of here before this uh, thing comes back. Do you have a bucket or a microwavable safe Tupperware? A, a bucket? Uh, yes, I can't chance going in the toilet. Uh, you're right. Uh, Underneath the kitchen sink. Okay, baby Follow me. Steps my boy. Finish murdering that brown snake. Oh, Did you get the key? Uh, no, it's still in me. Well, sit back down. Uh, I can't drop a gold brown deposit with this unholy beast watching me. I'm not flirting. Let's get it on. Don't wish me luck, baby. Look. Uh, Frank, use the force of the plutonium. You should have never left the force. No, no, it's too late for that. Biscuit.
is finally over. Thanks to me. Well, a little effort on your part. You got both my arms and my legs there. Um, yeah. And my terrestrial pork, my extra long terrestrials there. Um, no. What? Look again. It's big and glows. Like the lost ark. Sorry, it's gone. Well, then just kill me now. Life ain't worth living. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, it's one of your limericks. Yeah, your tiny penis is here. Fake beard fell off again. Say what?